Hi, I'm Blake Roger, uh, founder of AlgoSamurai.com, and I'm here to present the Ultimate Trail Install EA and how it works with uh, one of my favorite indicators, ATR Exit. All right, so here we are on a MetaTrader terminal of mine that uh, have a lot of open trades. Many of these are uh, Yen crosses, and they're all in fairly significant uh, pit profits. Uh, I would say, on average, it's it's between 100 to 300 pit profits on, on these trades. I want to particularly protect this uh, particular strategy that has the magic number of 1519260. So here I'm going to uh, move my ultimate trailing stop VA over to the... Uh, now the, the stop losses I have on those trades are 200 pip stop losses, and those stop losses have not moved. They're not protected at this point, so it'd be good to protect them. Uh, ATR exit is my default uh, exit strategy. It is one of my favorites. We'll see how it works and operates. Uh, the default I have is uh, a 25 period ATR factor 2. Okay, it'll immediately protect uh, those trades when I press OK. Well, I, want, I don't want to protect all the trades. Uh, I want to take away the filter for the symbol, so no filter there. I do want a symbol for the magic, so I put uh, symbol equals, and I put in 1519260, which is my magic strategy here for a few of my uh, crosses. Plus OK, and should proceed to protect them. So as you can see, uh, all the trades are now protected. The stop loss is now bigger than the entry price, right? 118 uh, entry price here. Stop loss is 119. Before it was uh, smaller on the buy side. It was uh, it was 200 pips smaller, so it was closer to uh, 116. Um, now it's 119. You can tell this particular column is very important, so it tells you basically how many pips uh, the stop loss is from the open. So. Uh, in this case, it's 104 pips uh, protected. Uh, it's on the positive side, protected from the open. So um, it's actually it's the best way to sort of say, uh, shorthand to say, uh, this is how many pips you've protected from your with your trades. So right now it's on Euro Yen. Uh, I've protected 151 pips on this particular trade. Let's have a look at it. So. Uh, you can see my, uh, let's bring this out, and just like that. You can see that uh, it entered here, and it's gone up to here, right? So, so far, you can see that it's made, uh, you know, $14 roughly. It's, it's trading one micro. So this uh, green entry level bar, all you have to do is click on it once, and it shows the stop loss. Uh, stop loss from open, to, uh, to where it is. So uh, the open is this price here, 129.79. Uh, this price here is roughly uh, 131.31. And so it shows that it's protecting 153 pips. If you want to know the distance between the close and the stop, you click on it, you click on the red bar one more time. And it shows that it's a 30 pip distance from the uh, close to the stop loss. I, uh, I want to keep it on that other one, so I'll just go back to it. It's 153. Now, what's cool is that you can actually see the indicator on the chart. Now, how do you see it? Well, uh, you do have to press the smiley button and you say uh, in the others area, so others here. Uh, apply indicator template equals true. Now, in order to see the indicator in chart, you actually have to download it. So, first, I'm going to go cancel that. I'm going to go to the uh, terminal and then to the market. And uh, yeah, I think I already have the ATR exit, but if you didn't have it, you'd have to search for it. ATR exit, uh, search for it, then you'd see this here ATR exit equals free. Click on it, and then if it's not downloaded, it'll show the downloaded uh, download button. You click on the down, download button. Just wait for a second. 
Okay, now it says it's uh, installed. Uh, you can actually see it here. It's in the navigator under indicators and then market ATR exit. Uh, so now we can go back into the smiley face and go to others and then apply indicator template equals true. It's okay. And it'll show the indicator appear shortly. So yeah, it's uh, behind my panel. So there it is. Uh, close the panel a little bit. Uh, close this. So you can see uh, there's the, uh, the bands. Uh, the average true range indicator is showing the average uh, true range over a certain period of time. In this case, I have it, um, the average is over the last 25 bars. Uh, the, the, the range uh, is the last 25 bars. And uh, it's a multiplier of two. So it's showing two times the average range of 25 bars. So uh, another way to call the multiplier is factor. Now if I click on the green again, then I can see the stop loss uh, appear just at that lower yellow band. Um, and so the two parameters that I would encourage you to play with if you want to change the ATR exit would be the uh, period and the, the, or the factor. So here's the ATR exit. I usually have it at a period of 25, and I do usually, usually use hourly, so that 25 period is roughly approximating the 24-hour period of a day uh, for the hourlies. And then uh, factor-wise, that's where I can make my, my uh, real adjustments. So factor of 2 is 2 times the 25-period the, the ATR. Factor of 3 is 3 times the 24-period uh, ATR, etc. I defaulted it at 2 because that's a decent factor, but let's see what happens if I put it at 3. So let's go back and to see, to see what uh, we're protecting here. Protecting 143 pip, uh, 40, 153 pips uh, profit, and so we go to the smiley face, and we look at that factor at 3, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to protect less profit. It's going to widen that, that band out a little bit more. Press OK. And there it is. OK, so yeah, the band has been widened a little bit more. Uh, and you can see that it's protect, in, instead of 153 uh, pips profit, it's protecting only 138 pips profit. And uh, why would you need to have a factor of uh, two or three or four. Why would you need to have uh, too too tight or too loose? Well, uh, if you want it tight, you know you're very cautious. You want to protect more profit. Uh, those bands are closer in on your current price. But if you want it like more loose, more of a factor, you know, three or four of a factor instead of two, you want more wiggle room for your trade. You want to be able to get that home run. Uh, Hopefully your trade can make 400 pips, and so you don't want it to be you don't want it to be prematurely uh, trailed out, and so you want to be able to get there. Um, so it's just depending on on how you assess your uh, entry 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 strategy. Like, uh, does it does it need a certain amount of wiggle room in order to, to achieve its objective or not? So it's just up to you. Uh, the last thing I want to show you about the ATR exit is the trending factor. So right now you can see that the bands are on both sides and that's purposeful. I, just in case you want to be short of this trade, even though it's a, a trending lawn, you want to trade, uh, trade short, you are protected on the short side if you're counter trending. But let's say if you click on the uh, smiley face and you come down here and you want to see only in trending mode. So right now it's ATR show channel equals true, but if you put it at false, it actually switches over to a trending mode, which is kind of interesting. So click on OK. And uh, you'll see here what's going on. Yeah, so um, bring this out, close that a little bit. So right now you see that uh, since March or 7th or so, it was more or less in a long trend. There's been a big reversal in the, in the movement uh, of, this, of this currency pair. 
Um, it had actually sh uh, been short quite for quite some time before that, right? you know, more or less short uh, in February. But early March, it decided to take a move upwards. And when it did so, uh, the band sort of hugged the, uh, the price upwards, right? And when it broke through uh, on the short side, you know, it looked like, a, looked like a reversal. There was a flip in the trend. Notice there's no trend line here. There's no trend uh, on the short because it's actually uh, judging this, this uh, action to be uh, in a long trend. But when, it, when, when, it, when the close price closed uh, below the ATR line here, it looked to be a short, right? And so the, that short trend line started to appear here. But then when the price broke above that short trend line, uh, it, it's, it flipped to long, and it's been long since uh, March 11th all the way till now. So it gives you kind of an entry system. It's a visual, a visual entry system. So you could actually move with the trend. You could sort of take trades uh, when when the price is above this yellow line. Um, you know, you can see my particular uh, strategy took a trade here at uh, 129, um, yeah, 0.77. And it stayed with it, and that price did not ever touch this uh, this yellow line. So it's a, it's kind of a nice feature to have in case you just want to move the trend. So I think that's all um, to for for now to discuss for ATR. We've we've looked at uh, ATR and its kind of its mechanics and how it works with this uh, this system. Remember, uh, you can look at any symbol, and you'll see the same uh, elements. This, this, this uh, Aussie Yen really took a, a strong trade. It actually you know, is, is, protect, is protecting now 244 pips. So you just click on Aussie Yen. Uh, it'll switch to Aussie Yen, and it'll show that trend where it happened. Aussie Yen got on early on in that trend, uh, as early on as you can imagine it to get on. And it uh, yeah, never did hit the you know, cross below it. For, you know, and it's so... Um, it's now it's 290 pips up and it's protected 244 pips with the ATR trail. So there you go. Um, there's the ATR trail for you. Uh, more, we'll, we'll study more uh, indicator methods uh, in, in future videos.